Hi guys, my name is Max and you are watching Assignment Experts channel. Today we will solve another example on how to use Bernoulli formula. Statistics shows that among 1000 newly born children, 515 are boys and 485 are girls. Let's find the probability that in a family with 6 children there are no more than 2 girls. To find this probability we will use Bernoulli formula. So let me remind you. The probability that some elementary event will take place k times out of n trials equals n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial times p raised to the power of k times 1 minus p raised to the power of n minus k. In this formula, n stands for the number of trials. k is a number of outcomes when this elementary event occurs. Then n minus k is a number of outcomes when the opposite event occurs. B is the probability that this elementary event will occur in one trial. And 1 minus B is the probability that the opposite event will take place in one trial. In our case, the event of interest A is when there are no more than two girls in the family. Which means that there can be zero, no girls, one or two girls in the family. And these numbers are coefficients k in our formula. The number of children in the family is the number of trials. So n equals 6. Event A will take place if one of these outcomes occurs. So <clears throat> due to addition rule, the probability of event A is the sum of probabilities of 0, 1, or 2 out of 6. And these outcomes are mutually exclusive, which means that if one of them occurs, two other are impossible. So we need to find these probabilities to find the probability of event A. For that we need to know the probability that a girl is born in the family. Let's use statistics. We divide the number of girls by the total number of children to find the probability that a girl is born. So P equals 0 0.485. Then the probability that a boy is born is 1 minus P and equals 0 0.515. Now we have all we need to use Bernoulli formula. Let's begin. Probability of 0 out of 6 equals 6 factorial over 0 factorial times 6 minus 0 factorial, which gives us 6 factorial, times p, which is 0 0.485, raised to the 0th power, times 0 0.515, raised to the 6th power. And this gives us approximately 0 0.018. Now the second probability. Probability of 1 out of 6 equals 6 factorial over 1 factorial times 6 minus 1, which is 5 factorial, times 0 0.485 raised to the first power, times 0 0.515 raised to the power of 6 minus 1, which is a fifth power. And this is approximately 0 0.105 and now the last probability probability of 2 out of 6 equals 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 minus 2 which is 4 factorial times 0 0.485 raised to the second power times 0 0.515 raised to the power of 6 minus 2, which is the fourth power. And this gives us approximately 0 0.247. So here we found three probabilities. Now to find the probability of the event of interest, we just need to th sum them up. And the probability of A is approximately 0 
so this is the answer. The probability that in a family with six children there are no more than two girls is 0 0.37. Goodbye guys, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, see you soon.